Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Rafale has been game changer fighter jet for Indian Air Force not only in terms of capability but also in terms of its maintainability and availability. One squadron of Rafale that is 18 Rafales are equivalent to 2.5 squadrons that is 45 Su-30 MKIs in terms of turn around and maintenance. As we know the 26 Rafales are already operational from Ambala in western sector and Hasimara in the eastern sector. Now the update is that France will deliver 3 Rafales each month starting from October 13th for next 3 months completing the order of 9 pending Rafales. Apart from this, the most important update is the last or the 36th Rafale which will be delivered with India specific changes with some Israeli components which is going to make Rafale far more lethal than its present version. Once the 36th Rafale is landed in India, the remaining 35 Rafales will also be upgraded with India specific changes. While the India specific enhancements are very much classified, however, we will be discussing the details which are available in the public domain. So let's get started. The first one is related to the modification of Rafale's M88 engine. The engine will be enhanced to allow Rafale to operate in a multitude of extreme operational environments ranging from high altitudes to desert. Engine condition monitoring sensors are being attached to maintain Rafale's overall engine health. There have been no design modification made to the engine. However, enhancements have been made to the full authority digital engine FADEC to aid the jet's engine to operate in extreme temperatures. The second modification is related to the Doppler weather radar which is located at the nose of the fighter aircraft which informs the pilot the weather ahead. For example, if it is raining, then the detector will appraise the fighter pilot about the density of air and the level of precipitation. It will even let the pilot know about the perceived levels of turbulence ahead, allowing the pilot to make prior corrections. Third one is related to Indian Regional Navigation Satellite with Sigma. The indigenous satellite system is being made compatible with French designed fighter platform. The integration of Indian navigation system will incur additional costs. However, it will allow Rafale to operate efficiently in Indian operational theaters. Fourth modification is related to the extra filtered oxygen generation. This enhancement is designed to filter out particulate matter found in high altitude. The onboard oxygen generation system will serve to reduce the risk of hypoxia to fighter pilots which is result of lowering levels of oxygen supplied to the pilots. This India specific add-on will further filter oxygen in accordance with Indian air conditions. The fifth one is related to SPICE 1000 smart bombs. Israeli designed SPICE smart missiles are to be integrated into the file's aerial panel. The aircraft's data link and related software will be adapted accordingly. The sixth one is about Astra missiles. It will be another addition to Rafale's lethal assortment of missiles. The integration of Indian missile will be made possible with the technical assistance of Dassault Aviation. Seventh one is related to G4 Lightning Pod. The Indian Air Force tried and tested G4 Lightning Pod will be integrated into Rafale's. The G4 Pod is attached to nearly every fighter in Indian Air Force arsenal. Eighth one is related to the enhanced Spectra EW suite. The Spectra have a host of different sensors such as radar warning receiver, infrared sensors, each performing distant functions. The range of these highly potent sensors is likely to be modified. The elite of Spectra system has a maximum range of 222 kilometers. The system defensive electronic countermeasures will be worked on RBA2 radar 200 km. The missile approach warning system which has a current range of 9.3 km will be further enhanced. Such enhancements will mean that the pilot will be warned of an incoming weapon attack well ahead of 9.3 km giving the pilot ample time to maneuver evasively. Ninth one is related to the quad pack ejectors. Rafale's 
will come equipped with French quad pack ejectors. These could be used as a standoff weapons. According to renowned defense expert, the quad pack ejectors for DE EMP is being jointly developed by both India and Israel. Tenth one is related to the X card fiber optic towed decoy. This decoy system is designed to counter incoming enemy surface to air missile and air to air missile. The decoy is deployed behind the fighter, emulating its heat signature to fool the incoming missile. It is a fourth generation tracking system designed to give some of the most sophisticated tracking radars the slip. The decoy is deployable and retractable mid-flight and may be used multiple times, making it immensely cost-effective. Apart from these 10 major upgrades, few more small upgrades are related to more powerful radio altimeter, radar warning receiver, low band jammer, flight data recorder, high attitude engine startup, synthetic aperture radar, ground moving target indicator and tracking, infrared search and track, helmet mounted display, missile approach warning systems and very high frequency range decoys. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.